Oh, can you what? Come up, I'll have a look. Let's see if I can see. Easier, wasn't it? Here, yeah, let's let's. Well, usually there was something like here. Maybe shift yeah. reset. Reset. Initialize all. Initialize all. What were you trying to do that wasn't working? Uh, like when I read in the like. Mm. Okay, it's working now? Yeah. Good, okay. Right, um, I think that's enough time, isn't it? Can we have a look at B1? Yeah. Yeah? Let's have a look. So, the first one was a simultaneous. 5M minus 4n equals 16. And you know what I'll do for the second equation? I will multiply by 2. Because then it just means all I have to do is add them together. And so m is equal to 2. If I put 2 in here, um, I'll get minus 6. Is it? Uh, oh, no, hang on, sorry. 5m minus 16 is minus 6 over 4. So 3 over 2, is it? Yeah. Minus 3 over 2. Mm. Okay, that's fine. B. Mm. So you're given 2 cubics, and you're told they have the same remainder when you divide by x minus k. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you divide each of them by k. Oh, well, x minus k. So you get k cubed plus 4k squared plus 3k plus 12. One second, we write that under here. Plus 12 equals k cubed. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Minus 2k plus 6. Okay, so. All right, we'll just have. Well, it's nice because they cancel. Bring them all to side. Yeah. And take everything to the left. Yeah. So you'll get k squared plus 5k plus 6. Yes. Yeah. Now, it looks like you have... Two, yeah, two values for k. Uh, 3 and 2. Yes. Yeah, well, that on the next line. So the next part is they want you to divide x minus 2 divided into x cubed minus x squared minus 32x plus 60. Sorry, I think it was Here? I think it's 6, yeah. Because it's 12 minus 6 on the left. No? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, x squared, x cubed minus 2x squared, x squared minus 32x plus 60. So, what's that? Plus x? x squared minus 2x minus 30x plus 60. So, the last one's obviously minus 30. Okay. And. We have to factorise here. So the three factors are x minus 2, um, 6 and 5. Um, no, x plus 6, x minus yeah. 6. Plus 6, minus 5. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Fine. That's part B done. So yeah. For this part, I'm not sure what exactly shown on the paper. Because which, I just thought it in the calculator. Which part? The last part. For what? The hence factor. Ah, yeah. Well, it's only one mark, so you could just write that. It's fine. But if it was not, what do you do? But then it's a different question. Do you know what I mean? So if, if it was more, then it means it's a different question. So I couldn't possibly guess at what. Like if they gave you more marks, what, what, what do you do? But they wouldn't. You're, okay. No. Yeah? Uh, can we write uh, two minuses? Shh, I can't hear Amjad. He's saying something I'm sure that's important. Go on, Amjad. Can we write? Uh, Someone answer that for him. What do you think? Amgen wants to know, could you write it as 2 minus 6 and 5? Would he get the mark or not? No, why not? Yeah, because the, because they use the word factorize, it means they want the factors. And these are the factors. And Amgen, what are these guys called? Numbers. Who said numbers? <laughs> <laughs> what are they called? No, no, no. What are they called? The roots. So, yeah, no, I'm Jed. I'm afraid if you did that, you'd lose the mark. Yeah. Okay. Uh, C. Um, a geometric series has the first term as 6. And the common ratio is 2. And SN is 49146. Find N. Yeah? 49146. Yep. Yeah? So 49146 equals A. 1 minus or N over 1 minus 2. Now, I'm sure 6 goes into this, doesn't it? How many times? 8, 1, 9, 1. one. one, one minus 2 is minus 1. Dividing this by minus 1 gives me 2n minus 1. So 2n equals 8, 1, 9, 2. Now, hang on, we can do this. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1000, 2, 4, 8, Thir 2, 13? Yeah. Okay, 2 power 13, so n is 13. Okay. I know that was more fun. Right. <laughs> Why does the series so not converge? Because um, it is not between minus one. Yeah, because I or is not between minus one and one. Okay. Um that's how many marks is that? Mm. Four marks, okay. And the next part is four marks as well. D. The first term of an aromatic series is three times larger than its common difference. The sum of the first 25 terms is 1,500. Find A and D. Okay, so. Yeah, it's a sub in, isn't it? So this one here is. 1500 equals n over 2, 2a plus n so minus 1d. So I've got a question. Yeah. They said the first term, isn't that a? Yep. Isn't a three times bigger than d? Yep. That is literally what I wrote. Right? No, no, you couldn't possibly ask me a question after I just said yes to the thing that you said. Is this okay? What should I do next here? Ah, no, not, no, 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 what should I do next? Simplify a little bit. Ah, no, come on, come on, come on, come on. I put the two in. Yeah, so two goes into two. Once. <laughs> Once, I'm dead. Uh, and 2 goes into 24 12. 12 times. 
25 goes into 1,500, what's that now, uh, uh, 60 times, is it? Yes. Yeah, 60. 60 times, yeah? yeah? So you end up getting 60 equals A plus 12D. Mm -hmm. But what is A? 3D. Yeah, 3D plus 12D? 15D. 15D. And 15 goes into 60? Four. Four. four times. So D is 4, and by this? A is 12. Um, the only thing which I thought was a little bit different is part B. Do you see where they said that the remainder is the same for the two cubics. I don't recall seeing a question like that in the other versions. But part A, part C, and part D, they're all standard. There's nothing, there's nothing in part A, C, and D which we haven't seen in a, another example. So let's just have a look at B2. Just before you start B2, what's a tiny bit different in B2, B2A? Um, the key. Yeah? Mm, that's normal enough. What's it? Like yeah. We have a key that's in the power and a key that. I think the key is only the power. Yeah, actually, I see two things which are a bit different. Number one, usually this has E in it. It doesn't have E in it. What does it have? It has a four instead. And also, I think uh, someone over there was saying, a little bit strange is also the 96X. Right? That's, that's not usually in these questions, right? It's usually something like this. Y equals A, E, K, X, and maybe you might have as well a plus B here, or even it could have a plus B here. But you don't usually have plus a BX. So I don't know if that will make this one a little bit easier or a little bit harder. Um, I don't think it will actually make much of a difference. No, I think this will be okay. All right, I'll give you a few minutes to try B2 now.